new at 10. I felt robbed. I, I, I was, I was um, just shocked. And this man is not alone. Nearly two dozen people claiming this Denver repair shop held their car hostage. And now this man, Austell Sean Miles, is behind bars, accused of stealing hundreds of dollars from alleged victims. 7 News reporter Jacqueline Allen live outside that shop. Jacqueline, police say he forced customers to pay for non-existent repairs. And charged two to three times what he had quoted. This shop here, 24 Hour Automotive, may look abandoned now, but police say from this storefront, Miles was operating a ruthless car repair scam. And we found seven people named in the affidavit may just be the tip of the iceberg. It was robbery. It was all bait and switch. When Christopher Bastian's Chevy Classic stalled outside work last month, the tow truck came. That's great. Thank you. Seemed real nice at first. He says 24-hour automotive towed it and gave him an over-the-phone quote to fix the fuel pump, $360. But when they emailed him this invoice, the bottom line had ballooned to nearly $900. They took it hostage. They took the car hostage and basically said, um, pay up or you can't have it back. Turns out he wasn't alone. In two months, DPD had 18 complaints about Austell Sean Miles, a former NFL running back from Denver who played two seasons with the Cincinnati Bengals. Court records show a mechanic here confessed Miles would charge for parts that weren't used and inflate costs. For example, a vehicle might have a simple thermostat issue, and Miles would talk the patron into a new head job that was never done. Daddy? Bastion says he eventually forked over the cash to get his car back, but his young family paid the price. When something like $800, $900 bill comes out of the blue like that, that takes food out of their mouth, still struggling, trying to recoup that loss. And the shop is all closed up now. Miles is in jail tonight on $20,000 bond, and he will be in court for the first time tomorrow. By the way, Miles is currently out on parole for theft in Douglas County. Reporting live in Denver, Jacqueline Allen, 7 News.